Hi, I'm Steve Chapman and I'd like to just give you an overview of the BLG or Base Light Grade file that we introduced as a concept at the 2012 NAB trade show. As you may be aware, the core Base Light Grade capability is becoming available outside of the grading suite as Filmlight develops functionality in editorial systems such as Final Cut Pro and Media Composer which we're showing here as well as visual effects systems such as Nuke. In addition, there is a new flip system for previewing grades on set and base light transfer for near set dailies. Having all these places where a grade can be previewed and refined is all very well, but we wanted a simple method for the creatives to pass these grade references about. Here, we have a reasonably complicated grade in base light with 20 layers or so applied to get the desired look. It's perhaps more complicated than any typical look would be, but it's useful, however, to illustrate how the BLG file works as a transport, even for fairly sophisticated grades. This one goes all the way up to the Alexa Log C Direct 709 True Light Cube applied on input. This look has been saved out of Baselight as a BLG file. The file itself on disk is an open EXR image showing the white between the reference raw and graded frame, visible in the finder on this Mac with no additional software installed. The wipe can be rendered out to give a reasonable representation on a laptop display or tablet, even if the other raw and graded tracks themselves are in log or linear native working space. Let's examine the BLG file in Nuke. Firstly, as you can see, it's all wrapped up in the OpenEXR container, with the default track being a white frame rendered to give a sense of the grade in Finder or Preview on a Mac, plus a BLG logo in the bottom left hand corner for identification. In the two subsequent tracks, it has the graded image and the reference frame itself, both in the native colour space of the project rather than linearised as one might normally expect. The rationale here is for pixel values in the raw and graded tracks to be those from the project's working space rather than requiring some additional transform to be specified. The fourth piece of information is rather unusual and this is the serialized base light stack required to get the image from raw to graded. Just because we can, as it's our intention to have this functionality available in many applications, we'll look further at this BLG stack inside Media Composer. I've added the base light effect to our example shot and here we're just loading the BLG file. When it's ready to base light for Avid, the grade is recreated with all the layers intact. We can step up through the layers and see what each one does, and we can also do the same with the mats. I can decide at some point that we would like to adjust the grade. Here, I'm just going to look at that light on her face. Drop the exposure maybe a little. Decide that's not really going anywhere I want and revert by reloading our original BLG file. The grade in there was good, so I'm going to commit that to the Media Composer timeline. A reference grade, of course, may be used to set the look for a particular scene or show, so it will be used on many clips, in which case the complex grades with shapes aren't so relevant. However, what is interesting is that as well as the grade description, one can also see what the intent was on the original frame that it was developed on. This is because at any time we can look back into the BLG file to see what the original raw reference frame was when this grade was created. Here, I load a BLG from a different shop to see how its look works on my material. Not a great example with the specific vignettes and shapes, but if this were a more generic look, I could manipulate it and maybe find an adjusted version that works. As I have the reference image in the XR, I can also check back and see if my new look works on the original, and perhaps create something that works on both. In any case, I have a visual debug method to understand why a look that worked fine on the reference doesn't work for my input.
That's a brief overview of the BLG file. If you see one and don't have an application that can currently make use of the internal data, you should know that these images with a BLG logo will have the capability of being read and the grade extracted if you pass them onto a post facility or production with base like capable systems. This is probably enough to give you the general idea of where this is going in terms of an accessible but sophisticated grade reference that can be passed around production and post-production.